Hello everyone, it's Morrow here. I'm gonna make a quick video of me upgrading the hard drive in this thing. Okay, so first tip when opening this is don't try to unhinge it from here or unlock it from here, whatever you want to say. Because it's pretty like it's very flush and if you try to jam a screwdriver in there, it's gonna leave a mark. So the best thing that I found was to also to keep it from looking bad I put this what do you call it microfiber rag in it and then I put the screwdriver in it and just pop it up and it works just fine and now to undo the rest of them it's pretty simple to undo these. there you have it laptop is open memory which I had a video with the Intel 600P and I was excited because when I popped this open I noticed that there is one 16 gig module in here. That means that I can just buy a second one and instantly have 32. But I eBayed the Hynix brand in here and it's overpriced. Second thing is the review by Notebook Check that I looked into before I bought this or while I was excited about this said that the SSD was a SATA interface on there. So and it is. I think it was a SanDisk or it was either a SanDisk or it was a light on. I can't remember off the top of my head, but this is an NVMe SSD. It is the Samsung SM951. I used to have a 128 gigabyte version of this in my desktop and it's it's really good. For like what what it is, it, it's amazing. It's pretty much the 950 Pro but a little bit behind and also doesn't have a warranty because it's OEM. But I have ordered a one terabyte version of this. Not not this. A one terabyte M.2 SSD. Now, it's not NVMe, but honestly, that's fine with me because I want capacity over speed right now. I don't have any applications that take advantage of 2,500 fucking sorry megabytes. Not big megabits. Megabytes per second. That's how fast NVMe SSDs go. And the upgrade I'm doing today is also not a two and a half SSD. It is a two and a half hard drive. Because a 500 gigabyte SSD will cost you about 120 bucks. $100, maybe $120. A one terabyte SSD is gonna cost you $200. A two terabyte SSD is gonna cost you 400 plus, which I would love to have but I'm not going to pay that much money for it. Like, period. That sounds nuts. You, I'm not going to pay that much money for an SSD. So, the hard drive that is in here is pretty much like, it's pretty much the best hard drive that you're going to find in a laptop standard. One, it's a terabyte. Two terabyte hard drives are going to be limited at 5400 RPM I think. I looked up the Samsung 2 terabyte that's popular for PS4s and I believe that's also 5400 RPM. And the reason this is the best one is one, first and foremost, it's HGST. That's like the most reliable brand. It is proven by a um what do you call it? A cloud server farm company. I looked it up a while ago and it's like they tested HGST, Seagate, and Western Digital, and sadly enough, Seagate is the worst, HGST is the best. One terabyte, 7200 RPM, HGST hard drive. Pretty much the best you're going to find, because not even, or maybe I'm talking out of my butt right now, but I don't want the Western Digital one. Okay, it fits. So what I'm replacing it with is... A two terabyte Seagate. Yes, that is the worst brand that I could have bought, but I'm not gonna put anything important on it after next week or after the end of the week actually when I get the wrong screw tomorrow. When I get the terabyte M.2 because I do have data stored on the on the platter drive, but it that's the reason I bought a one terabyte. It's because I want it to be on 
the main drive. The secondary drive I mostly only wanted to have video games. Because honestly, video games are volatile. I don't really care if they get deleted or corrupted. It's fine if they get deleted or corrupted. We're just going to download them again, right? They're all on Steam. This thing doesn't have a disk drive. Though I do have a... I do have my USB disk drive from like four or five years ago. I've been DVD-less for a while now. Okay. That looks like it's going to work. So, put that right in there. Oh, what I did, I used this cloning software. Damn it, I forgot what the name of it is. And yeah, cloned this to this. We're going to see if that works. If it doesn't work, there isn't anything important on it. And I can just format it and continue with that. What I meant by continue with that is I can format this, hook this up via this handy external drive cable, and just transfer from there to here. Right? Right. Okay. I need to put these back on there. So I think that's pretty much all I have to say on the video. I don't like videos that go from like, oh, I'm going to undo the whole thing and then redo it. Pretty much all I did was take off those screws off of there, which is simple enough. You don't have to move, remove anything. You don't have to remove feet to reach one. They're not hidden. They're right there. Popped it open. You guys saw me pop it open. You see the goods. Upgraded the hard drive. CPU is soldered on there, I believe. Somewhere right here. I think that's it. What is this? That's a CPU, I believe that's a chipset. I'm guessing the graphics card. I don't know. I might be wrong. Might be CPU, GPU. I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't, know. I don't, know. I don't really care. Okay, screw, 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 screw. Are they all tight in? Okay, all the screws are tightened and then just put everything back, right? There we go. Everything seems to be locked in a place. I'm just going to put the screws back and that's it. Thank you for watching, guys. Upgraded it from a terabyte to two terabytes. I might make a video showing how it went, how the capacity went, whether it worked or not. But for now, that was it. Just showing you how to upgrade that. Going to upgrade the memory soon. Definitely the SSD by the end of the week. Thank you for watching. See you later.